that's an, a pretty incredible set of CPU announcements we have today. But you might be wondering, what kind of AI platform doesn't have GPU support? So today, I'm very excited to give you a sneak peek into Max's support for GPUs. Now, we've completely rebuilt the entire GPU pipeline from the bottom up to provide the best possible developer experience for GPU users and researchers. Max meets you where you are. It can integrate with your AI pipelines. It can bring state-of-the-art compiler and runtime technologies to NVIDIA's amazing GPU architectures. And of course, Mojo brings about a new era of GPU programmability for the world. With Mojo, you get high-level abstractions that make GPU programming easy for people who are new to accelerators. But Mojo also gives you full low-level control and GPU primitives for the super experts who help drive the state-of-the-art forward. More than that, it also integrates with powerful NVIDIA tools like NVIDIA Insight. Now, lots of people today understand that GPUs are needed for the biggest Gen AI models. But the real power comes when you combine the strength of CPUs and GPUs together. Gen AI pipelines need pre-processing, need data loading. They need many other features to keep those GPUs fed. And only Mojo can unify both of these hardware types and do so gracefully with high performance, and that allows Max to unify your development teams. This allows your teams to extend your stack for research, enables faster innovation, new models, new applications. This is what AI is all about. It allows you to utilize today's advanced, high-performance hardware, and Mojo and Max together solve both today's problems, but it's also uniquely positioned to scale into tomorrow's use cases as well. So why is the Max platform so powerful? Because it brings all you need for AI into a single platform, including GPU support. But how do we get Max to work with GPUs? Well, with Mojo, of course. It's the power of Mojo that enables you to scale to both CPUs and GPUs seamlessly. Let me show you a few awesome things that you can do with Max GPUs. So as mentioned, Max works on both CPUs and GPUs seamlessly. And to enable GPU support, one takes a model and just runs it with the GPU or with Max. We've put together a little demo website that just wraps over our Max engine on the A100 system. Let's first show how we run on the CPU to form a baseline. Let's give model a prompt, kind of slow. Actually, here we're showing the GPU part. And so it's very fast to run on the GPU here. So the green one is showing the GPU results. So we've given the, GPU, the model run on GPU as a prompt and super, super fast. The response rate is so, so much fast. And this shows how one can seamlessly utilize the GPU from within Max. But how about the implementation? Let's lift the kernel a little bit and show you how we built Max with GPU support. It's all built in Mojo, of course. We're going to take a look at the attention block in the next example, a key building block of LLMs. So let's fire up a Jupyter Notebook and show how our de GPU development workflow. Here's the entire implementation of the attention block in Mojo. Note that the implementation is quite simple. In fact, it fits on one screen. And with Max, you have access to the full power of the GPU, even low-level implementation details. But we've built a lot of abstractions. And unlike existing approaches that make GPUs easy to program, we're not sacrificing performance here. This code is two times faster than OpenAI Triton. So let's do the obligatory one-line change to the notebook to show how easy it is to experiment with the Mojo workflow. Suppose I want to examine the best block size or thread crank configuration. Of course, I can do that via Mojo's auto-tuning, but let's do that manually. In fact, while we're talking, I ran three different configurations and picked the best one. Here's an example of the plot showing the three different trials that I've done. Through Max and Mojo, we're able to accelerate developer velocity by having faster iteration time when developing GPU code. What's even cooler is that all the benefits of the Max platform translate to the GPU. For example, automatic kernel fusion. But it doesn't stop there. Max seamlessly integrates with the entire NVIDIA ecosystem of tooling, because the entire point of GPU programming is to get performance. But to get performance, you need to understand what the code is doing. And NVIDIA has developed awesome tools to understand the performance of GPU code and how to increase GPU utilization. So let me show you how. 
Here, we're leveraging NVIDIA tools alongside with Mojo. To the left is the Mojo code, and to the right is the assembly code. Mojo was designed from the very beginning to work well with vendor tools. And by leveraging NVIDIA tools, we can understand and optimize Mojo kernels to best utilize the hardware. No other system out there provides such tooling and integration out of the box. And Max seamlessly is, Max e makes it easier than ever to develop optimized GP code. So to summarize, Max enables seamless execution on CPUs and GPUs. And by being Pythonic, the syntax is so much easier to learn. It enables easy GPU programming. It exposes the full power of CUDA. It integrates with existing NVIDIA tools. And Max allows CPUs and GPUs to work better together. All of Max CPU features come over to the GPU. Thus, you have a unified stack that works across CPUs and GPUs. Now, I'd like to hand it back to Chris. Thank you, Abdul. Uh, as we talked about before, GPU development today suffers from this three language problem. You have Python at the top, you have C++ in the middle, and you have CUDA at the bottom. And while any of these individually might be great, the reality today is that the three of them together produce this crazy spiral of complexity for developers. Max and Mojo are unique. Only they can unify the modern AI stack into a single Pythonic programming language with common sets of APIs. 